Hey, I'm Jiso and welcome to Shifu's Fall Update. In today's video, we're going to exclusively focus on the new outfits and how to get them. This time, we actually have three of them. One deluxe edition outfit and two outfits you can get from just completing goals. We have the wound, the wind chan light, I think. It is the wind chan light and the wind chan dark. It's kind of the same outfit, similar to some, it kind of looks like the master hand outfit, but not really. I still prefer the master hand outfit though. <laughs> and lastly, the stun double. To acquire this outfit, you want to make sure you complete the Heart of Shunstrike's goal in the club. Who made this name? Anyway, be sure to only get the modifiers listed in the description and only those. So, you're in the club and your guard is ignored. It means that you cannot block or you're going to take damage. Your only options are either block or parry. But if you decide to parry, you should know that you're going to deal a lot of partial damage or be structure damage thanks to the structure cracking deflect cheat. So yeah, you actually encouraged to parry, but you should always be cautious because you can heal because of permanent damage and yeah, you have no pendant so you cannot die. So it can be a vicious, quite difficult challenge, but if you know your way around, you should be fine. And you can use shortcuts. You don't have to actually kill every single enemy in the level. It's just about finishing the level with those modifiers. So whatever works for you, do it. And just a little reminder, I already made videos about how to defeat bosses, how to beat every single level, so feel free to check on those if you're still struggling. But I don't think you will struggle on Shun. But if you do, <laughs> if you do, well, just know, I got you covered. Upon defeating Shun, you're going to unlock the first outfit, which is the stun double. And it is kinda nice. To so unlock the Wind Chan Dark Outfit, you want to complete the Chambara Go at the museum. This was actually quite simple, and because you don't have to go through the entire level, just kill the two guys in the lobby and go right into the fight against Kuroki. But you already have noticed that she doesn't have a structure bar, so you will have to deplete her health to be able to kill her. And her first phase can be quite problematic because, yeah, she can do all those things. But hey. The strat in the second phase still works, so I, she, she's alright. It's not a difficult fight, but because she deals double damage, I mean, I didn't feel the double damage, but it is there, and you can die, and you know. Well, it's still Kuroki. You get this. Beat her, and then you unlock the Wind Chan Dark Outfit, which is quite similar to the Master Hand, but I still prefer the Master Hand Outfit because, well, it is better. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So unlock the light version of the Wing Chun outfit, you want to complete the more haste, less speed goal at the tower. And this one, oh, this one is tricky. So you want to follow my lead because if you don't, you're going to die because you're going to get bonked on the head and yeah, that, <laughs> that sucks. So grab everything you need. The modifier is going to be old and well, slow and old. Well, well, <laughs> this one is quite tricky, but because I already knew what to expect because I've beaten every single uh, I've, beaten, I've beaten the game using crazy modifiers, so I know what to expect. So I was kind of surprised at first. But hey, as always, use a, use a shortcut, go straight to the elevator. We're going to, page, to patiently wait there. And um, yeah, we go out of the elevator and you just, just follow my lead, okay? Do as I say. You want to come here and break your legs. <laughs> just trust me, break your legs. You're going to then go find the flash kick. And um, she's going to be faster. But if you if you already have crush punch unlocked, you're going to be able to interrupt her. The moment, listen, the moment you see her move, use crush punch. It's your best friend and probably the only way you can defeat her without struggling. I mean, you can defeat her this, the regular way, but uh, don't don't take it. Don't 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 do that. <laughs> Just use crush punch. So grab some health in case you got hit and open the door. Again, follow my lead. Open the door. Go right, right here, break your legs. <laughs> Again, break your legs. Trust me, you don't want to deal with that other room. Break your legs. Perform a, you know, a sweep here to make her... She's not threatening if he, she loses her staff, but she's just, she's just a disciple, just faster. So, oh my god, she picked it up. <laughs> she picked it up. Yeah, she's... You, you need to make her lose the staff because the, she's faster with the staff and just makes everything harder. So just keep in mind, she's just a regular disciple. You, you get this. If you can, just mash Perry and you should be okay. If that doesn't work, well, you're in trouble. The good thing is you don't have to worry about the remaining enemies because they're just easy. You just want to go here and wait and bomb strike whenever they come down. They can still kill you because they are faster, so be careful. Crouch punch, push her, she's done. And I don't think you got hit there, so yeah, I just jumped. Yeah, I just jumped. So, when it comes to Jing Fang, listen, I strongly advise not trying to get close to her unless you have the focus bars to, to deal with her. She's faster, right? And if you already know her, you know, the way she fights, you can actually predict what she's going to do. But do not come close to her, do not engage in close quarters combat unless you have the bars because she's going to kill you she's going to punish you and if you get bonked once on the head you're dead because she's going to combo you and you're probably going to look at that age that age it goes up fast so try to parry it is your best friend try to parry keep your distance get enough bars for the second phase the second phase is the trickiest one because then she can she just gets like evil for some reason so pay attention to the movements try to parry Keep your distance, keep your bars. Don't do what well. <laughs> don't get hit like I get like I got hit. Try to close the gap. You don't you want to parry those hits. Don't get bumped on the oh my god. <laughs> this is a shit show. <laughs> this is a shit show. But yeah. I feel like this is the worst boss to to fight when like with the the faster the, the, the faster enemy modifier because Jen she's just she's just a cow man. She's just so evil. So I just hope that you actually, you know, she's easy if you know her moves, but because you cannot just die, right, you, you are limited. And so that's why, oh my god, that's why I actually wanted you to skip some rooms so that you can come here and you have, I think you have four chances, four chances before it's a game over. So you don't want to die prior to coming here because you can, you can also reset your death counter. Very important, right? See, she's done. Just like that. What do you say? You say thanks, Jiso. <laughs> you say thanks because Jesus Christ. The first time I came here, I was surprised and I, I got bonked on the head. But you do that, you beat her, and then you get the last outfit, the Wing Chan Light, which is kind of lazy because they just made a light version of that one. But hey, oh, also something I forgot to mention before. If you probably saw those animations I was performing in the, at the beginning of the video and when I was showcasing the outfits, and if you want to do that, you need to platinum the game. You want to get all the achievements for the game, and upon doing so, you just come to the altar, 
where your father is, right? And you just pray, and there you go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.